straight from Russia. All right, please put it together for uh, Lalo Rodriguez, guys. Lalo Rodriguez. What's going on, guys? How you guys feeling tonight? That's true, I am the fastest growing comedian in South Florida. I am 12 years old. Just going through puberty. I'm very confused about my outfit. I know you guys are too. Just take it all in, sir. Got denim colored yoga pants. I look like I deal small time cocaine, you know? Like I definitely have five dollars worth of cocaine in my pocket. I don't know. I got the earring. For five dollars you got five dollars? Alright, brother. There we go. Now we're awake and start talking about cocaine. Alright guys, fuck that. I have a thousand dollars worth of cocaine. I'm just kidding. I don't. I wish, right? I don't know. Seriously, the outfit. You guys are probably thinking this guy's definitely uncircumcised or something. I don't know. My entire life, I'm always just doing things to try to fit in. Like, when I first came to the United States with my brother, we didn't speak a lick of English. Luckily, kids were breakdancing. Kids would get a cardboard box, they throw it on the floor, and everybody would take their turn having a little spasm attack on them. I look at my brother, and he looks at me, and he goes, Looks like we're going to have to communicate through dance. I was like, yes we do. And I let my brother coach me. Finally, it's my turn to dance in front of all the white kids. All of a sudden you hear, Suavemente, besame, que yo quiero sentir tus labios, besándome otra vez. And I just start saw-sawing all over the place. Everyone's looking at me weird. My brother goes, Lalo, Lalo, you're bouncing too much. <laughs> Your disco tits are all over the place. I'm like, what? Your disco tits. You know the pictures of mom from the 70s when she don't wear a bra? You got mom's tits! Of course, all the white kids call me disco tits moving forward. But here's the thing about my brother, guys. He came out of the closet vicariously through me. Like, he would send me to school in all of the outfits that he wanted to wear. He took my Janko jeans, cut into a nice jean skirt. He took my dad's Speedo jacket, cut into a nice little crop top. I've been walking off to school all excited to just flex on all the kids. <laughs> Hola muchachos. Same reaction, a bunch of blank faces. Like, why is this guy jumping around in 95 degree weather right now? And I would go back to my brother. I'm like, I don't think they like the outfit. He said, no, listen to me, maricón. They do not understand fashion. Tomorrow, you're going to fall. He always whistled through his throat. I don't know how he learned how to do that. I'm not going to ask him how, but... Flops. I was like, oh shit, what does that mean? Here's what it meant. My brother made everything shorter. Took the Janko jeans a little bit higher, had ball cleavage coming out the bottom. Took my dad's Speedo jacket, and he grabbed magic markers, and he wrote whatever words he thought were cool at the time, because he didn't speak any English. He wrote Burger King on the jacket. Three times, I was like, yeah, it's like NASCAR, bitch. And then my brother pulls out a box, and he goes, Lalo, I got something for you. And I'm like, what is it? He got me a box of Heelys. Do you guys remember Heelys? I know. Give it up for Heelys. I got my Heelys from the Spanish supermarket, spelled with a J. Heelys. And then one of the wheels was a computer chair wheel. The other one was a shopping cart wheel. I looked like a newborn giraffe when I put them on. I'm like, oh, you put them away. I got it. And my brother has the audacity to tell me, he's like, listen, when you get to the bus stop tomorrow, I need you to tell him something for me. I'm like, what's that? I need you to tell him that you are fabulous. I was like, oh, shit. Okay, help me stand up, please. Sure enough, next day I'm skating off to school. I get to the bus stop. What's up, fellas? Come on in. Comedy show, you know? Just showing them the elasticity of my pants and how far I can take this split. Hola, muchachos. Come back. Just soy. Fabuloso. Come back. It never worked, you know? Same thing. That one time a mop hit me in the head. And I was like, what? 
All right, a lot of white people. Are there Latinos in the house? Okay, one. Listen. <laughs> all right, Fabuloso. Okay, so Fabuloso is purple pine saw. All right. You know what Fabuloso is, right? Okay, you know as well. So Fabuloso is purple pine saw. You know Julieta? She cleans her house every Wednesday. Yeah. She throws Fabuloso all over the house. She doesn't even fucking dust anything. She's just like, fuck this motherfucking house. <laughs> That's exactly what they do. Listen, when you're Latino, your mom gives birth to about 20 children. By the age of 10, there's only two of you left. Okay? Fabuloso overdoses are nothing to laugh at, guys. You ever been to a Latino household? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Okay, you know the shrine in the back? With the candles and the rosaries? And the skulls, and then sage, and more candles, and it says, well, rest in peace, Hector. And you're like, damn. And then you think, like, wow, what happened? Gangbang is no joke in the Latino community. Nope, that's a fabuloso overdose. <laughs> Seriously, I'm going to let you in, guys, something about, like, being from another country, okay? Your parents say really dumb shit because they don't speak English, even though they've been here way longer than you have. Like, my dad, I was driving to the neighborhood the other day, and I saw my dad yelling at the neighbor. I'm like, Papi, what's going on? He's like, every time I'm walking my dog, her dog comes outside and starts licking and sniffing my dog, and I don't like it. And I'm like, Dad, how did you say it? No, you don't speak English. And he goes, your dog eat the pussy of my dog, and me no like it, bitch. I was like, Dad, you can't talk to her like that. She's nine years old. I go to visit my mom, okay? And you guys know Amazon Prime, right, white people? Amazon Prime? So my brother's always sending my mom gifts through Amazon Prime, but he's been forgetting to change the address back to his address, so my mom's been receiving all of his sex toys. I know, I, I knock on the door. My mom opens the door, she has an anal bead necklace on. I'm like, madre, que es eso? It's like, mira papi, your brother, he got me a rosary from the Amazon. And look, you press a button and it vibrates for one minute. No, I go to the bathroom. She's got suction cup dildos all over the bathroom. Look, ay Dios mío, madre, que es esto? Mira papi, your brother, he got me towel racks for the bathroom and the white one that's for the regular towels the little chiquito the yellow one that's for the the hand towels and then the big black one your papi he likes to do pull-ups on that one when he gets out of the chat my mom could tell i was getting really worked up so she brings me to the kitchen she's like papi sit down i'm gonna make you something to drink come on please mother right on the counter state-of-the-art penis pump. I was like, madre, por qué? He said, mira papi, your brother. He got me a juicer from the Amazon. And look, you put the fruit on the top and then you pump it. Mom's gonna pop. No, it's not. And then, and then the juice came out, and I was like, oh shit, it does work. And she hands me the cup, and I was like, oh fuck. And I drank it. And it was fucking delicious. And I was like, mom, can you tell my brother to get me one of those immediately? Thank you guys so much. My name is Lala Rodriguez. Give it up for your host, Nadine Lawad.